Hey, what's happening everybody? Welcome to another iOS tip. In this video, I'm going to show you a formatting tip for Apple's built-in mail application and this also works in Apple's notes application. Those are the only two applications where I've seen this work. If you find any other applications where it also works, leave me a comment down below. I would love to know that. So let's get started. I'm only going to demo this in the mail application, but like I said, it also works in the notes application. So I'm going to launch mail. Here's a new message right here. So uh, the tip has to do with basically doing bold italics, underline and indent in your messages. So I can say this is a test. And then if you whenever you type something, if there's a word or something that you want to um, basically change the formatting of, go ahead and tap and hold, um, tap select. And then on the right corner there, you see um, on in the menu, you will see bold, italic and underline. Go ahead and tap on that. And then there you are you can go bold and it will bold it for you you can do italics and I'm just tapping them and it's doing it for me and there you have it and if you want to take it away same thing just tap it again and it will remove it now the other thing I want to show you is indent um, and I can say this is a second test uh, and then what you can do is uh, if you want to go ahead you type something um, tap hold and then um, right there it says code level tap on the code level and do increase and there you it just creates an indent for you and that's all and if you want to continue doing that you go down below and you uh, want to go further in um, right where the cursor is blinking go ahead and hold let go code level increase again and there is a second level where you can you know type uh, I actually did not do that right so tap hold let go code level increase and increase again and there you go it's a different color there's another indent level um, and you can just keep saying this is the third test or something I'm just typing and then you can continue doing that now I'm, I'm not sure if you have a use case for it but in case you do there you have it I, I hope that helps some of you out there thank you very much for watching and I will catch you in the next one